Did that guy just get hit in the head with a coconut? Nice. It's big fingerboard unboxing time. I'm actually quite thankful for people being entertained by big boxes being opened on camera. All right, let's get in here and see what we got. This stuff is all bubble wrapped real good. That's empty. First pull. This looks so sick. I cannot believe I got all this right now. This picnic table is freaking nice, bro. Look at the coping on this. This thing is beautiful. Wow. What a nice freaking obstacle. I cannot wait to get some tricks on this at the end of the video for you guys. We'll be using all this stuff at the end of the video. Guys, this box came from a brand new company called Finger Everything. Tommy hit me up and said he's been making some wood fingerboard ramps that he thinks are great quality and he would love for me to try them out. I said, absolutely. And here we are. Hey, Finger Everything, thank you so much. You rule. Oh, this is a complete fingerboard. He did not even mention that he was gonna send me a complete fingerboard. That is so freaking awesome. Awesome, thank you so much. So I might be able to slide right out. Yeah, there we go. I love how it's got the square side and the round side. This might be one of the best fingerboard obstacles I've ever received. And guys, it feels so sturdy and heavy. I've never felt any obstacles that felt this nice. Keep watching guys, there's a ton of crazy stuff in here. This is an unbelievable unboxing video. This is a little kicker ramp. You can absolutely tell that a ton of time and effort has gone into these ramps. I cannot wait to try them out. I know I keep saying that, but I'm so excited. This is the tiniest one so far. Let's see what we got in here. It's like a little double barrel curb. Look at this thing. Does this not look so freaking fun? Oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Got another little ledge here. This one's like a ledge with a rail on top. Check that out. I'll definitely be able to get some really good combos on this. Oh, I thought this was gonna be the exact same one, but it's not. It's like a little slanted ledge. That is so freaking sick. It's unique too. I've never seen anything like that. It might be out there. Don't crucify me if you've seen it before. This thing just smells like fresh lumber. It smells like Home Depot. This is exactly what I think it is. And I can already tell it is so nice. Wow, wow, wow. This is so nice. I cannot believe the quality of this stuff. He's doing an amazing job making these Ramps. This might be the nicest quarter pipe for a fingerboard I have ever seen in my life. Wow. Now that I'm looking at all this stuff, I feel like I can make an entire skate park out of it. I just can't get over the fact that this box is this never ending. It's just not gonna stop. What do we got in this one? Ooh, this is like a little bank to bake. I don't really know what to call this one. I like the little piece of coping in the middle too. Wow, yeah, I've never seen anything like this. We'll be excited to get some tricks on it, that's for sure. Keep them coming, keep them coming. This is a message specifically to Finger Everything, the guy that made these ramps. This is by far the most exciting unboxing video that I've ever Ever done in my life. Thank you so much. I am having an absolute blast right now. I'm even starting to sweat just a little bit. Looks like we got a double-sided bench right here. This thing is so smooth. It feels like it was just sanded. This looks like it could be in an actual bus stop. A real street obstacle if you must. There's one thing left in here. It is the biggest piece in the entire box. Let's unwrap this thing and see what we got. Look at this thing. I am speechless. This thing looks so incredibly nice. I also think this is the biggest fingerboard obstacle I've ever owned by far. Now that we got all this stuff out of the box and ready to go. It's time to show you how it functions. Please excuse the band-aids I got on my hand here. I burned myself while I was cooking jambalaya last night and I was gonna film these clips outside, but it's really freaking windy out here. Holy crap. 